Hey, Bearski here. We're going to start with a big info dump just to cover as many of the common questions that have been popping up on all my other videos. This is Quest 2, Quest 3 modding video. Uh, disclaimer and info dump incoming. Number one, this is just the first part. You'll be changing the release channel to 1.29 and downgrading to 1.28. Number two, as of the posting of this video, everything you see is working and valid. If anything changes, let me know in the comments and I'll get a new video out to cover that change. Number three, you must own Beat Saber to mod it. Number four, you cannot have app sharing or multiple accounts on your headset for this to work. Number five, if you proceed, you will lose all scores and they will not be recovered. Number six, bot music packs can be recovered if you return back to live. There will be a video on my channel to demo how to do this. Number seven, no one has been banned or suffered repercussions for modding Beat Saber. That said, you are proceeding at your own risk and this video is only a guide reference to be used at your discretion. Now on with the video. You need to install SideQuest on your headset. All right, let's go. Go to all apps and click on the store app. Search for mobile VR station. Download mobile VR station. Now go to the meta browser and search for sidequestvr.com. Sign in with an email account. I use my Gmail. Here I am signing out to show the sign in page. After signing in, search for SideQuest and click the magnifying glass. Click on the SideQuest VR app. Try not to click any of the icons. Scroll down and click on the download APK directly link. Click on that app dash release dot APK file. The file will then download to your headset. Now open mobile VR station. Click on Android fixes configuration wizard. Click on show all options. Click on configure manage all files. Click on Enable Manage All Files. Toggle the Allow switch on and press the Go Back arrow. Close and open Mobile VR Station. Go to Local Files, All Folders, Android, Data, Scope Storage Actions. Step 1. Request Access. Click on Quest 2, Quest 3, or Storage HMD. It will say one of these three. Click on Download. Click on the quad arrows. If it goes gray, then the prompt has gone invisible. You could either click randomly and hope to click the Continue button, then the Update button, and then the Done button as shown on the screen, or you could restart your headset and reopen Mobile VR Station. Once completed, close Mobile VR Station. Now click on Quick Settings. Click on Expand View. Open the App Library. Click on the All drop-down list at the top. Click on Unknown Sources. Click on SideQuest. Drag the SideQuest window by clicking and holding the top of the window and moving it to the left. Open the Meta Browser. Go to sdq.st slash link, enter the code shown in your headset, not the one that you see on the screen. Click on link now. Click on go to my account. Close the meta browser. Click Allow on Allow Permissions. 
click on Update SideQuest. Click on Update. Click on Settings. Click the window behind the second settings prompt. Toggle the Allow from Source Toggle On. Click the Go Back arrow. Click Update. If SideQuest crashes, reopen SideQuest. If the menu does not respond, then click the Meta button on your controller twice. Click on the magnifying glass and search for Quest App Version Switcher. Click on the icon for Quest App Version Switcher. Click on Sideload. Click Install. Click Update. Close SideQuest. Click Quick Settings. Click on Settings. Click on Apps. Click on Installed Apps. Click on the arrow beside Beat Saber. Toggle the shared storage to on. Click on release channels. Click on legacy 1.29. Close settings. Reinstall Beat Saber. If you are in unknown sources and not all, click the unknown sources drop down list and click on all. Click on the three dots in the top right corner of Beat Saber. Click on uninstall. Click on install. Open Beat Saber. Click open app on the prompt. If it closes, open again and click on open app. Once you get to the title screen, click solo and look down at the footprint. You'll see that the version you are on is 1.2 knot. If not, go back to the timestamp on screen and repeat the process. Close Beat Saber. Go to Library. Change the All drop-down list to Unknown Sources. Open Quest App Version Switcher. Click the toggle on for Allow Access to Manage All Files. Click the Go Back arrow. Click Start. Change the 1.35 version to 1.28. Click Next. Click Grant Access. Click the Go Back arrow on the top left six times. Click on Just Install Without Modding. Click on Start Uninstall. Click OK. Click Continue. Click Install App. Click Settings. Click on the window behind the settings prompt. Toggle Allow from this source to On. Click Continue. Click Install App. Click Install. Click Continue. Click Close. Open a web browser. Search for Quest Patcher. Click on Releases Dash. Lori the Fish Quest Patcher. Scroll down and click on Quest Patcher Windows.exe.
Install Quest Patcher from your downloads folder. Quick access would be clicking on the download arrow on Chrome in the top right corner. Now go to Google. Type in Computer Elite GitHub. Click on Beat Saber versions. Change the game version to 1.28. Download the core mods. You could take this time to download other mods such as Chroma, Noodle extensions, or mapping extensions, but that's up to you. Go to the Meta app on your phone. Make sure your headset is on. Go to Headset Settings. Go to Developer Mode. Click Get Started. Scroll down and click on the Manage Developer Create link. Log in with your Meta account. Enter an organization name. It can be anything you want. Click I understand. Scroll to the right and click Submit. Click I agree and submit again. Go back to the Meta app and click Get Started again. Click on the link under Verify Your Account. Log in and verify your Meta account. Go back to the Meta app. Go to Headset Settings and turn on Debug Mode. Plug your headset into your PC with a USB-A to USB-C cable or a USB-C to USB-C cable. Your headset would have came with a high quality USB-C to USB-C cable. Click Allow on the Access Files prompt inside your headset. Open Quest Patcher on your PC. Make sure the headset does not go to sleep. I recommend doing this by just keeping the headset on your head. The sensor will see your forehead and will not shut off. You should see you are on version 1.28. Make sure you have Quest Loader selected, not Scotland 2, and click Patch My App. Once patching has completed, click on Browse on the top right. Click on your downloaded core files, which should be in your Downloads folder. Allow the core mods to install. Install other mods now if you previously downloaded them. Once done, unplug headset and boot up Beat Saber. You probably will be greeted with a restore, open, or close prompt. Just click open. If Beat Saber crashes, open it again from the library and click open app. You can download songs by going to solo and clicking on the more songs mod. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments if it worked for you or if you need extra helps. Give me a like, I need them. Thanks, goodbye, and have a good one.